Yeah, I am trying to laugh to keep from crying. Welcome back to another Vlogmas. It's your girl, Aretha Levon, and it is Vlogmas Day 17. Vlogmas Day 17. I think it's 17 or 18. I think it's 17, guys. Um, But anyway, y'all. I have no clue what I have to film for y'all today. Like, literally nothing. Like, today I did go spark for a little bit. I made $96. And I'm back home now. Um, and I didn't want to show y'all the sparking stuff again today because yesterday's vlog was dedicated to sparking. So... I am actually cooking dinner. Y'all, I have been in the mood for some freaking pig feet. Now, I know some of y'all going to be like, ew, 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 pork. Like, yes, I have several family members that do not eat pork. And I do not eat pork often. It's just like certain times, like y'all see for Thanksgiving, I made chitlins. Like, I haven't had chitlins since last year thanksgiving um and i don't know why i am in the mood for pig feet but i am about to make some pig feet i actually have them on now um so i just cleaned them and then i don't know if you cook pig feet or if you're not if you do you know that you do have to bring them for a boil a couple times to get what's that stuff that's on them some kind of, I guess it's like starch, I would say, or something. You bring them to a bowl for like one or two times, pour the water off and do it again. And then that's when I go back and season mine and then they will cook for maybe three, three and a half hours. Um, so I'm going to make pig feet. Um, I am going to make some llama beans. I'm about to get those soaking right now. Um, I normally like to soak them overnight, but, um, yeah, we don't got time for that today. So I'm going to soak them for like probably 30, 45 minutes and then, um, start cooking them. And y'all, oh my God, I was in Publix. Now I use smoked meat for a lot of stuff like, um, greens and beans and uh, beans like green beans and <laughs> smoked meat helps like uh season your food but y'all i have never seen smoked turkey thighs hold on let me turn around so y'all can see these are smoked turkey thighs I have never seen that before so your girl had to pick that up so that's what i'm gonna put in my beans today and i'm gonna make some cornbread i was gonna do some collard greens but my husband really don't like collard greens so in my freezer refrigerator i already have some spinach that needs to be cooked and i also have some broccoli the broccoli looks okay. So I may do, do I have some heavy cream? Yep, I have a heavy cream. So I'm probably just going to make some um, cream spinach too. So we can have a cream, I mean a green <laughs> on the side. And that's going to be our Sunday dinner. Um, What else did I get? Oh, let me show y'all um, this little outfit that I got for Zora. That I got for Zora. So, of course, y'all know Christmas is coming up. So, um, next week, we are, um, not next week, actually, Saturday. We're having our annual Christmas um, party. 
Um, and so our theme is um, we're having a best sweater contest. So in Walmart, I found Zora this really cute little dress. So I'm either going to let her wear this and it's like a sweater dress or I seen, sorry. Yeah, I don't have my tripod, so this is why well, it's kind of hard. This, um, this little cute sweater, it says fa la 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 la. So, yeah, th those were two things, two other things that I found today when I was at Walmart. So, what else? Um, that's really about it. <sighs> Depending on, I really don't want to film me cooking. So I'm just going to, like I just did tell y'all what I cook. And I'll show y'all the plate afterwards. Um, I'm really not in the mood for filming today, honestly. Um, I just, I guess between the vacation and... And then me coming back and, you know, still putting in work and <sighs> preparing. Like, it's just been a long day. And with me uh, doing vlogmas already, just filming every day and trying to get y'all some content and editing. It's a lot. So, I really don't feel like um, filming today. I'm still trying to give y'all some content. But, I mean, I want to at least post a video that's between... 10 and 15 minutes well hell i don't talk seven minutes now on this damn <laughs> but no this this you know that's gonna be cut down once i look back over it and but yeah y'all that's what's going on today um yeah the hubby is y'all know my house is so dark once you come into the living room he in the sunroom Room talking to his mom, talking that shit. Ibo, hey. <laughs> you, call my you call your language shit. If you're married to Ibo, man, you're Ibo. Baby, I'm not saying the language is shit. Okay? I, I apologize. I'm not saying your language is shit. But I'm just like, for an American, like saying that, they understand what I'm saying. Like, you're talking a language that I don't understand, okay? Okay, we said it out loud so they can hear you. I'm just messing with you. I know you don't mean shit like shit. Yeah, but you know, y'all take little words so liberal and like, like saying shut up. Oh, you're insulting me and yeah, stuff like that. Don't tell your elder shut up. That's an elder. Anybody but we'll tell up. our peer or somebody like that. Or even jokingly, I have said shut up to you and you're like, you don't tell your husband shut up. Yeah. Like, it's. But I just wanted to explain it. So, y'all, let me not offend the Ebos in the Ebo language. But I'm just saying, he is talking in a way that I don't understand. That's all that I was trying to say. Um, and, oh, you got on clothes. I thought there was draws because he don't never. Girl, girl, he comes in the house, no matter what he's doing, and just take out everything. As soon as he get in the house. I guess that's a Nigerian thing too. Maybe I should clean up the clothes with y'all. No, that box, I have a box of stuff from Chien that I'm planning to do a trial. It's for Zora. So I'm planning to do a trial on haul for Zora. Um, so that's why that's still in the box. And then the other box right there. Those are things that I'm thinking about shipping to Nigeria, but I'm not 100% sure because the last time I shipped stuff to Nigeria, it was like $300. So, I don't know if I'm going to ship that. It depends on how much they try to charge. I may just have to give that to a local thrift store. Let me get up here. I'm going to get the food done. Take my shoes off. Oh, let me show y'all my fit. Let me do that. So, guys, please excuse the mirror. This is all Zora's doing. But, yeah, this is the fit today while I was sparking. I just have on this 
um blue sweater and it has uh it's a louis vuitton sweater it has a louis uh, on the back you really can't see it i have on some blue sweats and then i have on my um foam posits what color is this neon neon green yellow foam posits so this is how your girl was sparking today i never wear these shoes y'all and this like really the only shirt that <laughs> i got to match them <clears throat> so yeah this is your girl today do 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 okay y'all peace okay y'all so I'm still in the kitchen, so I was in here doing my beans, so I'm like, let me just turn on the camera and talk to y'all for a little bit. For fresh beans, you're supposed to let them soak overnight so the casing can come off of them. So basically, I have just like uh, put mine in hot water um, and scalding water. I just made hot water in my teapot and... I kept putting it on my beans and letting them sit and repeating it so my casing can come off easily. So basically, this is the llama bean and this is the casing that comes off. This is the bean. So, yeah, me doing this, I'm like, whoa, Lord. It's been a while since I made uh, fresh beans and I see why. Because this is a process when, when a bitch is tired. I already started it, so I'm going to keep doing it. So do y'all like fresh beans? Do y'all ever make fresh beans? I know when I was uh, younger, I did not even like beans. I didn't like beans at all. Anything that had to do with beans, I was not eating them. The only time that I would eat beans would be chili beans with cornbread. And that was because we got to put sugar in it. And for some reason, that was <laughs> it was good. <laughs> One bean that I really don't even like, y'all, that everybody loves is green beans. Like... You have to really know how to cook your green beans in order for me to like them. I, when it comes to me, I know how to cook them the way that I like them, but I don't like them enough to cook them. Um, normally, I cook them when Zora asks for them because she does like green beans, but I really don't. Oh, other beans I like is um, black eyed peas. I like black eyed peas now. And of course, chili beans or pinto beans. Hmm. I can't say I like pinto beans. I'm about to go ahead and put the beans in the meat. I'm getting all of the casing. This is how it looks. Let's go ahead and wash this bowl. When you in the kitchen cooking, the cleanest, fastest way to keep your kitchen clean is clean while you're cooking. Don't let everything pile up and then go back and clean it. I'm a, my water is really loud. Clean as you are cooking, okay? Let me show y'all the um pig feet really quick. They're still cooking. Is the pig feet that's cooking now? These still got about. Still an hour and a half to cook. But yeah, these are the pig food. 
so these are the beans they about to start cooking this is the turkey thigh so these haven't started cooking yet y'all it's about to start cooking so yeah guys so i think we're just gonna have the beans and pig feet and i'm gonna make cornbread and that's gonna be it i'm not even gonna make the green the spinach even though i really should because i think that's gonna go bad shortly it don't take long to make the spinach maybe i should make it or maybe i should i'm tired y'all <laughs> should i just go ahead and make cornbread So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cornbread. This is the cornbread. I'm gonna make this. Let's go ahead and put my oven on. I'm making this cornbread. I'm preheating my oven. Uh, I'm gonna make the cornbread in my iron skillet. Let me rinse this out. Do us. So we are coming here with a force. Yeah. Blessing we are reaping but we go it in a handful. But we don't rise on force. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Blessing to us from the night on. Why the fuck I was in there editing my motherfucking video and I done scotched all the damn food. Like, even the fucking beans. Look at the, the cornbread is good. But damn, I done about burnt every motherfucking thing up. This still look good. This still look good. Y'all look at this. Look at this. <laughs> y'all, I am trying to laugh to keep from crying. Because y'all don't know how many stores I went looking for pig feet for one. And for me to almost burn my fucking dinner. <sighs> I thank God I saved it. But editing that motherfucking video, I mean, I literally, I don't know. I'm like on 17 minutes of the video editing. It was only 37 minutes. Like, that wasn't a long time. I almost burnt the cornbread. I almost burnt every damn thing. Like, this is crazy. But I was able to save it, take it out the pot. I'm about to re-season it because all of the season was what was burnt up at the bottom of the pot. And try to cut off the char on these two. <sighs> Y'all look at this. This is what I pulled off the ones that I put back in the pot already. So I wanted to get a video. This the motherfucking video. Don't burnt my damn So y'all, this is my plate. It don't look pretty. Because I wasn't even in the mood to like make it pretty. I'm mad still that I almost burnt my food. But let's see how it tastes. So let's taste it guys. I'm just so sad. I can't believe that I burnt my food. But let's see if I saved it. Okay. The 
the beans taste really good. Well, I didn't burn the cornbread, but let's taste that. I almost did. The cornbread tastes good. Okay. The beans does not taste scotched at all. Now for the dang on pig feet. Was this a sign that I should not be eating it? <laughs> Ooh, hot sauce. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I was so mad. I didn't even put our food on real plates. Mmm. Okay, it don't taste scotch. I bring it back. I got there just in time to change out the pots and all that stuff. Look at Big Greedy. <laughs> he been over here. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. But it was. I'm still hungry. My God, why are you acting like you haven't ate anything today? You had tea? That's my food. How when you ate 20 loaves of bread? I mean, 20 pieces, slices of bread. It's like bread. Okay, guys. We're going to finish our dinner. And I am going to go ahead and end Vlogmas Day 18. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow is a work day, so what the hell I'm going to show y'all. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. Good night. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Bye.